And Iowa lawmakers discussed public school funding for the next academic year tonight. House Republicans proposing a $106 million increase in general state aid for the next school year. That's a 3% increase, while Governor Kim Reynolds says she wants a 2.5% increase. Senate Republicans originally wanted a 2% increase, but today the Senate Education Committee amended the original bill and approved a 3% funding increase, matching the House's proposed increase. Now, one Republican senator tonight says many school districts in the state are having a decline in their enrollment. When you're declining enrollment, you also have less students to teach. Um, so there's less expenses, you know, for that community school as well. Um, but uh, we are aware of all the, the, uh, the suggestions and also all of the uh, concerns that were brought before us. Senator Tim Crinbrink says that Republicans have been doing conservative budgeting in recent years. Democrats on the Senate Education Committee today say that a school district's total costs don't drop as much as some people think they would just because enrollment is down. And while we like to say, oh, they'll have less students to educate, there are a lot of fixed costs that cannot be reduced. And if you lose five students from a district, that's a teacher that you have to cut. A vote now scheduled on the Senate floor for tomorrow. Last week, the Iowa State House passed Governor Kim Reynolds' Student First Act. That would give nearly $7,600 per year in educational savings accounts for their children to enroll in a private school if they'd like.